The crown is a headdress that has symbolized power since ancient times and determined the title and merits of its owner. They have adorned the heads of monarchs and rulers throughout the centuries and have become emblematic of their reigns. With such a big list of magnificent crowns that I'm going to show you, it will be complicated to combine them in one video. Therefore, I decided to split it in two chapters. Today, in the first chapter, we're gonna explore the famous iconic older crowns, mostly from Middle Ages. And in the next video, we will take a look into more younger representatives of crown jewelry. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. Imperial Crown of the Holy Roman Empire The Imperial Crown is a symbol of power and authority that dates back to the 10th century. It was first used by the Otto the Great, who was crowned Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in 962. The crown is made of gold, silver and decorated with 144 precious stones, including sapphires, emeralds and amethyst and about the same number of pearls. It is adorned with images of saints, angels and rulers. It was designed to reflect the power and grandeur of Holy Roman Empire, which at its height included much of Central Europe. The imperial crown stands out from other crowns due to its unique octagonal shape, which is created by use of eight hinged plates instead of traditional circular design. It was frequently used in coronation ceremonies throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Today, the imperial crown is housed in the imperial treasury in Vienna. Monomach's cap Monomach's cap is a symbol of medieval Russian monarchy and one of the most significant items in the collection of the Kremlin armory in Moscow. The cap is made of gold and decorated with precious stones and pearls. It was created in the 14th century and named after the Grand Prince of Kiev, Vladimir Monomach, who is believed to have worn it. But the more trustful theory says that this cap was presented by Mongolian Khan Uzbek to the Grand Prince of Moscow, Ivan Kalita. The cross on the top of cap was added much later. The Monomach's cap is special because it was used for coronation of all Russian monarchs during the 178 years, including Ivan Grozny and Peter I. Iron Crown of Lombardy The Iron Crown of Lombardy is a ceremonial crown that has played a significant role in the history of Italy. It is believed to have been made in the 4th century and consists of six gold plates joined together by a band of iron. 22 relief carved gemstones in the shapes of crosses and flowers are put into the piece. The crown's name comes from the fact that it contains a ring of iron, said to be from one of the nails used to crucify Jesus Christ. This ring is kept in a small chamber within the crown. It is closely associated with the kingdom of the Lombards, who ruled over much of Italy from the 6th to 8th centuries. The crown was used in the coronation of many Lombard kings and later became a symbol of the authority of the Holy Roman Emperors. The crown is now kept in the Cathedral of Monza, a city in northern Italy, and is only brought out on special occasions. The Crowns of Silla The Crowns of Silla are a collection of golden crowns that were excavated from the Silla Kingdom's tomb in South Korea. The crowns are known for their intricate designs and impressive craftsmanship, which have earned them the status of national treasures in South Korea. The crowns date back to the 5th and 7th centuries and were likely worn by Silla kings and queens during important ceremonial events. The crowns are made of pure gold and consist of three elements, a tall conical cap with openwork, a wing or butterfly shaped piece that fits into a cap and diadem. The crowns are considered to be some of the most important artifacts from the ancient Korean period, and they have become a symbol of South Korean national identity. 
Princess Blanche Crown. The crown worn by Princess Blanche is the oldest English crown surviving today and probably dated after 1370. In 1402, Princess Blanche, the daughter of King Henry IV of England, married the Palatine Elector Ludwig III, and the crown passed to the Palatine Treasury in Heidelberg as part of her dowry. Before the crown was presented to Princess Blanche, it had most likely belonged to Queen Anne of Bohemia, the wife of Richard II, whom she married in 1382. Therefore, the crown may have been produced in Bohemia, but elements such as beading on the stems suggest Paris. So, the maker might have been a French or French-trained goldsmith working in Prague. At the time of creation, it was made of gold and decorated with 91 pearls, 63 spinels, 47 sapphires, 33 diamonds and 5 emeralds. Today, the crown in the collection of the Munich residence in Germany. The crown of Saint Wenceslas. The crown of Saint Wenceslas is one of the most significant and treasured artifacts in the Czech Republic. It is a medieval crown that was created for the coronation of King Charles IV in 1747, and it has since been used to crown many kings and queens of Bohemia. The crown is named after Saint Wenceslas, the patron saint of the Czech Republic and the symbol of Czech statehood. It is made of pure gold and is decorated with 91 precious stones and 20 pearls. The crown of Saint Wenceslas is not only a symbol of the Czech Republic's rich history and cultural heritage, but it also plays an important role in contemporary Czech politics. The crown is kept in the crown chamber of Prague Castle and is only displayed on special occasions, such as inauguration of the new president or the anniversary of the Czech Republic's independence. Saint Edward's Crown While the Imperial State Crown is the most famous piece of royal jewelry, Saint Edward's Crown is the most special one, since it's used only for coronation of the new monarch. Another point is that St. Edward's crown was created two centuries before the imperial state crown, in 1661 for Charles II. It replaced the medieval crown which had been melted down in 1649. The original crown was believed to have originated from Edward the Confessor, the last Anglo-Saxon king of England in the 11th century. Although this is not exact replica of the medieval crown, it is similar to original because of four crosses pati and four flores de lis representing the British Empire's four constituent countries – England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. The crown is crafted from a solid gold frame embellished with precious stones like rubies, amethyst, sapphires, garnets, topazes and tourmalines. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.